If you should ever be absent or unable to attend school, or if we even go to a remote learning environment, you can always catch up with what was missed the day or days that you were absent. You will eventually be given the code to the Google Classroom for our language arts class. And when you're given that code, you will click on that Google Classroom. And then in order to access the work that was covered or announcements or anything related to the day you were gone, you want to make sure that you click on the classwork feed. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see these topics. Click on classroom miscellaneous. It's also the first item that pops up in the list. And then in the classroom, whoops, in the classroom miscellaneous, you will see first quarter daily slides. These are slides that I will be presenting at the beginning of every class period, and it gives us guidance as to what will be covered within that class period, announcements, upcoming assignments, due dates, and so on. So if you click on this link, it brings us to our daily slides. And it will always start with this slide, uh, which is the introductory slide to the class. But if you arrow to the right on your keyboard, you will now see that we have the date and the number of the day of the year. This will get a little tricky at the beginning, but I'm quite certain you guys can all handle it. If you are an A day student, you're going to train your brain to go to the slides that have this light orange background and the orange box, text box that says A day in it. If you are a B day student, you're going to train your brain to go to the slides that have this light green background and the green B day text box in the upper left hand corner. So let's just say you're an A day student. A lot of information here gives us the date, the day of the year. And as you enter the classroom, these are the set of instructions at the top of the screen that you should be looking at and following every single day. Here, students, please close your Chromebooks sit in a green chair and wait for the next set of instructions. Then we move into what we're going to cover today's goals. An introduction and welcome to you all. An in-class activity, we're going to begin a scavenger hunt, a scavenger hunt actually. And oftentimes I will put a lot of hyperlinks into the daily learning slides. It will give you an, the assignment. It will give you how many points it's worth, and it will give you the due date. Looks like we have another assignment that's coming up that's outside of class. Bring or have an access to a digital photo of yourself worth five points due Friday, a August, that should say August 15th. That is a typo. And then, of course, we always have our learning targets at the bottom of the screen, which is to understand our classroom norms. Also, some other important information that will be on every single slide is if you have any questions about anything, you can contact me by email. If we are in remote learning, you can contact me via Google Voice. You can also book some time with me. If you click on this, you can sign up for any time uh, before school, after school, during tutorial, during lunch. Or you, we can arrange for a Google Meet. But this will also be on every single slide. 
Now again, because A day and B days are different, due dates are going to be a little different because B day obviously comes after the A day. The same learning objectives, the same goals, and the same instructions at the beginning of each class period, only the slight difference is the day of the week will be different and due dates will be different. But you'll notice it's still day one of learning. Now, after you have read all of the information on these slides and you still are confused about what it is you need to complete, by all means, reach out to me. You can get in touch with me any of these four ways.